Hey YouTube, this is Jerry and today we're talking about the Anchor Power Port. Now, this five port USB charger is nothing new. This is a charger I've had for quite a while and I used to use it on my nightstand for charging all of my devices at night, phone, watch, tablets, whatever. But I have since replaced it with the Siteki Trio wireless charger, which I'll link up here. And that is what I use currently for my nightstand. But this guy has found new life in some other ways for me. These are not the newest chargers and I would definitely label them an oldie but a goodie. I've had this for quite a while and my uses keep evolving, but the bottom line is I keep using it. This anchor power port can do up to 60 watts of charging. The power delivery port on the top can do 30 watts on its own and can charge a number of things from a MacBook Pro to an iPad Pro to phones using USB-C or even an iPhone using a USB-C to lightning adapter. Below the USB-C port, you have four standard USB-A ports, which can do up to 12 watts per port and up to a combined 30 watts between the four. Anchor says that the Power IQ ports can intelligently figure out which devices you're using and how much power they need to be able to spread the load between the four ports. You might be wondering why you even want this charger when it's not particularly fast. The advantage of using this charger is the five ports. Now, no, they're not the fastest, but what they can do is charge a lot of things at one time. This can be useful for things that don't need the fastest charging. You don't need to charge up or top off right now, but things that you can let sit for a while, maybe overnight or maybe over an afternoon. And that's primarily why I used it for my nightstand previously. Since I've started working on YouTube videos, I've needed to charge a lot of different things, batteries for cameras, batteries for lights, my tablets and phones and other things that I wanted to have around the set. Being able to plug a number of things into this at night or when I'm done shooting allows them to all charge at the same time and they're ready to go when I come back next time. And just like charging at night, you can also use these for travel. So when you're traveling and you're sitting in a hotel room or you're at a friend's house or staying in a guest suite or whatever you might be doing, this one device will plug into the wall and then each of your devices will plug into it, eliminating the need to bring a bunch of different power adapters. The Anchor Power Port comes with a six foot cord so you can set it behind a nightstand or behind a desk or wherever you need to in a hotel room. It also comes with some adhesive strips that you can use to attach to the back of it and then stick it to the back or underside of a desk or nightstand. And you have the option of getting them in white or in black. I think the full advertised price from Anchor is somewhere around 45 or $50. However, you can frequently get these on good sale prices from Amazon. For example, I got this black one just the other day for about $32. At $32, being able to charge five more devices at the same time is pretty convenient. So the Anchor power ports are not the newest devices or the fastest devices. Anchor now sells the newer GAN powered devices with the Atom labels that are faster and higher wattages. However, even the power port Atom 3 only has four ports, so it limits the amount of devices you can charge at one time, although the wattage for the power delivery port is actually higher. So if you have a lot of devices that you need to charge at one time and you're not particularly concerned about the speed of the charging, then I would definitely recommend that you pick up one of these five port chargers from Anchor. They work well. I've had no problems with them. The six foot cord allows for a lot of placement options and the sticky pads can help you place it wherever you need. So check the links below for the best prices that you can currently get on the power port devices. And if this video helped you hit the thumbs up button. I want to give a quick shout out to my first 50 subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting that first milestone that I had in mind. And I really appreciate the comments and the feedback. So please, Please keep them coming and let me know what you are interested in seeing and what I can do to make these videos better for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you next time.